hello and welcome to my channel uh, this is another voiceover so I'm sorry for any misses that I might have um, this is the second of my DOI or Die Moon shop boxes this was a large mystery box and as soon as I get it open I realize what exactly this is this is a piece of civil art now I've only ever actually seen um, Stitcherista do civil art and um, yeah she's not necessarily wholly my style I wouldn't necessarily have chosen her um, if I was going into the shop which I had done um, but as a mystery piece I'm really really happy with this now this image uh, the canvas itself blows me away um, you will get a snippet from my original video talking about that uh, just going through the toolkit which is the same as the other toolkit it was a single pen I don't think there was a tweezers in this kit this is square um, but yeah basic kit from DIY Moon uh, this is 40 by 40 so it's a nice manageable size uh, and there she is Civil Art is one of the artist collaborations that Diamond have with a number of other artists. Uh, what I'm actually about to do now is measure it for size. I forgot to do that with day and night. It is true to size. It looked true to size and they give great big generous borders as well. Um, so very, very happy with that. I'm not sure what I'm doing now, maybe winding up the um, measuring tape and having a bit of a chat to you and even though I recorded this yesterday I can't for the life of me remember everything that was said. It's very frustrating having technical glitches. Um, looking at the colours, that's all one colour in her hairpiece. Her hair is all one shade as well, so it's the jet black. And then her face has some highlights around the edge. And all of that up there and her hair is one colour block. And all of this down at the bottom, that's all confetti. <laughs> uh, it starts off with some colours in a block on the left. And then it merges into confetti as you go to her neck. Her neck itself is all confetti and then behind her neck is confetti as well. So whether you're a block lover or a confetti lover, this image has something for everyone. Now I will pause because I will cut to my second video. So just bear with me a second. To try and show you the close up. So I'm going to keep talking and I'll be jumping between it in my editing. Okay, so you can see how it's kind of blocky over here with the V but then bring it over here and it goes into G's and equals and four and it just gets more and more insane as you go across. And it gets even more insane. Oops, I'm a little bit too close for you. As you go into her neck and it is seriously confetti sample you go to the back side here of the scenery oh my goodness talk about a mix of do you love block or do you love confetti and that's a 40 by 40 um again these are the colors i haven't seen these packed but i think because they put so much love into their kits i'm not going to need to cross-reference everything off they have one legend on the um, art so you've got to trust that the gems are all here I suppose um, and look at these colours these are all the black and they've got multiples they're not in a string they're all individual bags spare bags it says Chiharu I'm going to take a very quick jump on DIY Moon 
see if I can find this for the information. Now, products, artist collaborations, might be artist collaborations. Anna Dittman's work on DIY Moan Shop is just incredible. She would be an artist I would probably chase after. Here is Sybil Art. There she is. Okay. Comes in various sizes from 30 by 30 up to this one being 40 by 40 in round and in the square. Um, she is a Brussels artist and she works in the contrasting colours. So there you go. That's um, the image. There is the image, but I will put a big image up on. All right, um, just as a bit of a wrap up, I suppose, on this one, as a diamond painting um, shop, would I buy with DIY, DIY Moon Shop or Die Moon Shop again? Yeah, I probably will. Um, it's something that I will be looking for particular pieces that I can't find elsewhere. Um, I wouldn't be perhaps looking for the rhinestone notebooks or anything like that. I'd be looking for their particular piece. Um, looking at the canvas there, it's quite a heavy canvas. It's not, um, well, it's probably, yeah, it's much heavier than most of the alley stores. It's probably heavier than ever moment, although I don't have them both side by side in my hands. Um, but you're looking at that kind of level of weight um, of a cotton weave. The uh, poured blue is excellent. The clear cover is okay for clear covers which I hate. Um, the drills are excellent from what I can see. You uh, could, you you would actually probably benefit from checking out Diamond in the Rough's review videos um, as she does post reviews on the drills so she would know if there's any issues. As I said she's much more experienced with Diamond Shop than I am um, and I would still go to her for advice on their products. But as um, a diamond painting, yeah, um, it's it's certainly up there. Um, I know it puts an awful lot of people off in the States because they have to pay for shipping. I have to pay for shipping anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me if it's coming from DAC or Diamond Shop. Each are going to be just as expensive. In fact, DAC might even be cheaper for me than Diamond Shop. So. Um, from a weight point of view I, I don't think there's really much in it the service that you get with the um, pre-packing videos from Rowana the family influence that is me pointing to the eye I will try and remember to put a link into the 199 video showing my packing up um, and um, yeah it's special touches like that and then you've got the toolkit you've got the um, drills all together and um, the way it's shipped with DHL being super super fast now I know why and um, people rave about the shipping over in the States being so fast from DAC um, I have never had anything ordered and shipped as fast as this um, I think it was a week getting it together and then by the time the video was uploaded and it got to me it was two days um, so from that point of view that was super fast and I understand it takes time to get stuff either off the shelf or get it amassed or whatever but these um, seem to be hand-picked and the mystery paintings might not be quite hand-picked um, I'm not sure what Rowana does as part of her rules to make sure that if I had bought a Sybil art that I wouldn't be getting this one um, 
Uh, but I'm sure they go through the orders just to double check that kind of thing. Um, yeah, and they just have nice touches. They use things like the electric diamonds. Um, Tina would call them sparklers. I would potentially call them sparklers. Um, again, doing something like this does give you a choice between blockwork and confetti. So it's a bit of um, love between both of them. I actually enjoy doing both. They both have their um, different therapeutic um, benefits of doing checkerboard or doing confetti. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else I can really add in this um, overdub. Um, I can't remember what I was talking about specifically, so um, I will wrap up. I will say goodbye. I'll say thank you for watching and do consider checking out Diamond Shop. Uh, the prices are in US or Filipino, whatever that converts to. And um, you can at least have that on par and then shipping is whatever shipping is um, to anywhere. It's about $40 minimum. Um, but you have to kind of weigh that up as well. Um, yes, if you like my video, please go check out any of my other unboxings. I have a large variety of different paintings. And um, I, yeah, thank you. And consider subscribing or commenting. Uh, I love your comments. Um, so I will see you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.